Guys, so the Escort Mark II, which has had a life, led a life, very interesting one at that as well. Uh, there's a, a show board there that goes with the car as well. And what an interesting life, like I was saying, the car many years ago was there in purple, that magazine is in the folder, which is an interesting read. And then the, the journey the car made from that uh, to where we are today, again, is all documented there. There's a tremendous amount of history, uh, which is again, really, really interesting. So uh, Jack's done quite a number of photographs of the car and I've just managed to get round to doing a video for you. So I'll take you around the car. Oh, I didn't really know. Is that actually, this is the first time I've ever looked around the car. So I'm having a look blind with you. Oh, wow. Oh, again, I think I'll take that down to the office. Yeah, wow, look at that, absolutely. Everything you need to know there, isn't it? I mean, I should just flick through that and keep quiet, I suppose, really, shouldn't I? Look, I should just, because that, they say uh, a picture speaks a thousand words, isn't there? Well, there's lots of pictures there, so there's, there's lots of words, isn't there? There you go, there you go. I'll take that back, I'll pop that on the back of the little Fiesta here for a moment, and I'll take that down to the office. So, yeah, there you go, so, we're now running a um, ST170 on throttle bodies, I believe. Uh, where are we? Hang on a second. Get me. Get me uh, right side. Type 9 box. She's been sort of harried, albeit in green as opposed to the usual colours. Just a little bit different. Just a bit individual. Got some keys in my pocket here, so we'll have a quick look in the boot if there was a key thing, but there's not, so there must be a lever inside. I think it's a car that needs to be turned upside down. I think it'll probably sell better upside down. The underside, I've spent a tremendous amount of time and money on the underside. There you go, there she is. Oh, there's some uh, information there for you just regarding the origin of the car. I think I saw in the description she's running about 190-ish at the moment. I have a similar manifold and things on one of mine. Have a wander around the usual areas that you guys like to have a look at. We'll have a look underneath this side as well. But I think, as I said when I started that video, those photographs sort of say it all, don't they? Have a look down here as well. Nice, isn't it? So, like a lot of us, if you're looking for a solid Mark II, irrelevant of what model it is, you know, as long as it's uh, as long as it's got two doors and it's got the right thing and engines in it and this could be the one for you guys. So there you go. Hopefully that's given you a bit of a extra, shall I say, information on the car, just an extra feel for it. The next step is to come down and come down have a look. The two magazine articles are really interesting to read. They're in the paperwork, so be sure and go into the office and read them. Be sure and flick through that. That's worth its weight in gold, that in my opinion, because what can't speak can't lie. Load of information in there, which I think will put your mind at rest as far as any hidden 
structural concerns, I'd like to think so. But there you are. A very usable Mark II. So yeah, please come down. There's another week's worth of viewing to be had. So you've got a window. If you haven't come down already, have a look at the car. Go from there.